Vision 2020 as the blueprint for a better way of life in the town of Apple Valley, each of its 10 goals establishes a signpost along the road to success. The final destination can be found in our vision statement, a premier community full of first-class amenities, events, and employment opportunities, and leading the high desert in public safety and environmental stewardship. The national economy has crumbled and California cities are facing unprecedented challenges. However, long-standing conservative fiscal practices are allowing Apple Valley to maintain services and staff. Certainly the community is faced with our share of challenges, but by sticking to a solid vision for our future, Apple Valley is seeing many good signs along the road to recovery. Although budget cuts have been necessary, including a 13% reduction in our general fund since 2008, Apple Valley has met its budget goals without any layoffs or furloughs, a good sign of economic stability and fiscal responsibility. Knowing what is important to Apple Valley citizens, the town has also continued to provide the quality services that residents count on, such as safe roads, clean parks, and free and low-cost recreation opportunities and special events. First quarter 2010 showed a 4.1% increase in sales tax over the same period in 2009. The upcoming addition of Burlington Coat Factory and America's Tire Store to the town's retail mix is certainly a good sign of a returning retailer confidence in our market. Residential construction has been one of our hardest hit areas in our community. Declining property values impact our neighborhoods. Um, we've had few new homes being built. Vacant houses along with foreclosures impact the integrity of our neighborhoods. Our code enforcement task force and our use of neighborhood stabilization funds to provide assistance for foreclosed houses, to provide down payment assistance and rehabilitation show good signs of success. One step we took was to make sure vacant homes were being properly maintained by the bank owners. A database set up by code enforcement staff combined with the possibility of fines, help keep a handle on landscaping and other basic maintenance issues. The result was a 60% decrease in the number of abatement warrants issued in the first half of this year compared to the same period in 2009. Also, the total number of foreclosures dropped 32% from over 2,500 in March of 2009 to just over 1,700 in May of 2010. Secondly, Apple Valley was able to take advantage of the Neighborhood Stabilization Program funded through the Federal American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. In the past 18 months, the town dispersed $1.25 million through the Down Payment Assistance Program, helping 27 families move into previously foreclosed homes. Uh, the town of Apple Valley has done a lot of wonderful things for me personally as far as getting me a home. Uh, this is my first home. I'm 54 years old. I've uh, been blind uh, since birth. It's given me a uh, down payment assistance of up to 60% of the sale price of the home. It, these are great programs that town has. Uh, I've been talking it up. I've been going around telling people that are available, trying to get people hooked up to, to use your programs because uh, I like the idea that these programs are making the town of a Valley a nicer place to be. Another good sign in the housing market was the recent closing of the 1,000s escrow in Sun City, Apple Valley, first started by Del Webb in 2004. Apple Valley spent the last several years updating its general plan, which is the blueprint for the future development of the town. I first started working on the general plan advisory committee when it was um, in its conception and uh, prior to being on the council. And once I was on the council, we finally adopted it in August 2009. The general plan provides an innovative vision for our future and carves out clear long-term community development objectives. This was followed by approval of our housing element by the California Department of Housing and Community Development. Uh, this is the place where we have our North Apple Valley Industrial Specific Plan. You can see that Walmart uh, is a tremendous asset to the North Apple Valley. It's a good sign that the economy is really improving. The North Apple Valley Industrial Specific Plan area comprises 5,100 acres. With pre-approved uses and design standards, a project can obtain administrative approval in as little as 120 days. 
even less in some cases. Uh, most of Apple Valley is either residential or retail, and uh, we're really trying to get some, some employment for people who live in Apple Valley. One hurdle in attracting new projects has been the lack of water and sewer infrastructure. This water tank you see behind me is an integral part of the infrastructure for the North Apple Valley specific plan. By itself, this is not sufficient. We have to have enough water to be able to maintain fire flow to the industrial buildings. And that's dictated to us by the state fire marshal. In an aggressive effort designed to move Apple Valley to the top of any site selector's list, the town is proposing a plan to install nearly $13 million worth of water and sewer system backbone. Funding will come from sewer impact fees as well as bonds, which will be reimbursed as development occurs. Bringing new business to Apple Valley is a very important mission, but keeping them here is just as important. It's always a good sign to see just opened on a recently vacated building. We need to do everything we can to help with their success here in Apple Valley. Business retention contracts with the Apple Valley Chamber of Commerce and the High Desert Hispanic Chamber of Commerce provide training and resources to help our businesses survive and thrive. The village in Apple Valley, the original business district dating back to the mid-1940s, is gaining strong momentum through collaborative efforts among the merchants. The village has unveiled a marketing campaign to develop a brand and, more importantly, a place. A place to dine, a place to shop, a place to work. In a show of support for this historic district, local businesses, agencies, and community volunteers recently installed landscaping near the Western Village entrance using all donated materials and a grant from the MWA. Now that's a good sign. A new animal shelter opened its doors to the public in April 2010 at the southeast corner of Powhatan and Quinault Roads. This 36,000 square foot facility provides better care for the animals with modern exam rooms a ventilation system to filter airborne diseases, quarantine and isolation facilities, and space for a veterinary office and surgery suite. We're sometimes asked why facilities such as this animal shelter are being built during these economic times. Well, any economist will tell you that this is the best time to invest because construction costs and other costs are at their lowest. It's, it's a good sign that we're investing in our local, local economy with facilities such as this. First of all, the costs are less. Secondly, we're putting more people to work. We're creating employment right in the community. Visitors often remark on the warm, inviting atmosphere, and the extra space reduces the stress on the future pets housed there. You know, we see this facility as a potential resource for animal shelter needs throughout the high desert. You know, it's built for a 20-year period. And as the community and the desert grows, it may prove to be economically feasible for facilities to gravitate to the Apple Valley Animal Shelter. In July 2010, the new Town Hall Annex opened adjacent to Town Hall centralizing all development and permitting services. More than just providing some much needed staff and storage space, this move means that planning and community development, engineering and land development, economic development and housing and public services are all available in one location to provide better customer service. We're very excited to have one component of the new Town Hall Annex, and that is the 6,000 square foot community facility that will be available for public and private uses for such things as conventions, banquets, weddings, and what have you. The open space plan can be divided to accommodate multiple events or be configured for lecture, classroom, or seated dinner set up for as many as 350 people. When companies and corporations look to move into a community, they not only look for quality of life issues such as uh, good neighborhoods and schools, they look at parks, recreation, and amenities. It's a good sign when a community invests in these quality of life issues and parks and recreation. Apple Valley has done that to help build a better way of life for everyone. Making sure we keep up with the needs of the community, the town is undertaking an update of the Parks and Recreation Master Plan this year. Community input is a critical component and will help Apple Valley establish priorities for parks, amenities, and programs. 
As people seek affordable recreation opportunities close to home, many are turning to the Parks and Recreation Department to fill that need. For the fourth year in a row, Target provided a major grant to help pay for the Sunset Concert Series this summer. In this year's Daily Press Reader's Poll, the series was voted second place as a Best of the Desert special event, and the Civic Center Park Amphitheater took the top award as a venue for live performances. Being able to provide a place for a community to come together for family fun under the desert sky, that's a good sign. Today, the Yakaloma Bridge is Apple Valley's number one transportation project. It's been discussed now for the last 35 years, and we are closer today than ever of making this project become possible. Currently, we only have two routes over the Mojave River. One is Bear Valley Road, and the other is the famous Narrows. The final environmental documents are in the hands of Caltrans, and we expect final project approval any day. With that approval in hand, the Town Council can then approve both the environmental documents and the first phase of the project and issue bid packages in late fall. It is a virtual certainty that we will be moving dirt on Yuccaloma Bridge before next summer rolls around. The Apple Valley Town Council understands the need to have a third route over the uh, Mojave River. With the cooperation of the Town Council, Caltrans, San Bernardino County, and the City of Victorville, it's a good sign that this bridge is going to become a reality in a very short time. The town of Apple Valley was incorporated 22 years ago for two main reasons, public safety and better roads. The most significant sign of our success was a 32% reduction in robberies, part of a 4% drop overall in Part 1 crimes to their lowest numbers in nearly a decade. The number of traffic collisions dropped for the fourth year in a row, also to their lowest level in nearly a decade. We cannot sacrifice our commitment to public safety. It's because of these gentlemen here that our crime rate has dropped dramatically in the last several years. In 2009, the direction to officers was simple. Seek criminal activity, put good cases together, conduct sweeps, enhance prevention programs, and make more arrests. In a show of collaborative effort and teamwork from 51 sworn officers, 14 office staff, and 63 volunteers, that is exactly what they did. This year, we also had great success with the continued expansion of the Apple Valley Police Activities League. This program provides structured daytime and after-school activities for youth. The related shock program works with at-risk youth teens, teaching self-discipline, honor, obedience, character, and knowledge. PAL and Shock, coupled with other town recreation programs, provide a wide range of healthy alternatives for the town's youth, keeping our kids and young adults safe and directed down the path to a better way of life. The good signs of progress are everywhere in Apple Valley, from economic stability to community pride and participation, from new industrial growth to town facilities, parks, and public safety. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, life is a journey, not a destination. You never know what's around the bend, but with Vision 2020 and plenty of good signs to lead the way, we know we are heading in the right direction.